Happy belated Valentine's Day to everybody. This is coming out right after Valentine's Day, and we're making a Candy Hearts mead. There are a lot of Candy Hearts floating around in the store, and we're going to find out if you should go and buy them and turn them into a mead. So let's get started. All right, Super Tie. Um, first of all, we're not recording this during Valentine's Day, but happy Valentine's Day for everyone watching. And I have to ask you, what do you do for Valentine's Day? We just sit around, open candy, and I eat all the Reese's. I, so. Okay, and no, no one gets the Reese's? Those are separate just for you? <laughs> no, no one in my household likes Reese's oh, uh, except for me, which is weird. So. That is? Well, do they like candy hearts? Well, you know, like... They're not really our favorite, but there's something that you got to try it, have at least a handful every year, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That, um, well, you're going to have a handful or two or three or seven tonight. And, um, we have, we have a candy heart mead. So I, I'm going to walk us back in time a little bit. I'll throw up a recipe card for anybody who really wants to make this, but I'll first start by saying, if you want to make this thing, you have to purchase yourself five pounds of candy hearts. And uh, you can get it on Amazon. That's where I got mine. So if you're really intrigued, get yourself five pounds of candy hearts. You're going to get some honey, whatever kind you want. Um, we're using champagne yeast and water, of course. And that's and some yeast nutrient. And that's about all you're going to need. So on that recipe card, you see all of those things with the ratios that I used. You also see that the ABV is a mystery. We'll talk about that in a second, but going back in time, I started this mead with five pounds of candy hearts. I literally poured them into a big old pot with water, about a gallon of water, and we boiled them. Surprisingly, they boiled well. We then added honey after that had somewhat cooled. We attempted to take a gravity reading and it did not work because the hydrometer floated above the line. It was insane. So. I don't know what ABV, ABV this is. I know the final ABV, but, or gravity, excuse me, but I don't know the true ABV. After our attempted hydrometer reading, we pitched in Lauvin EC1118 to get this thing going, and we let it start fermenting. We added our nutrient at the 24 hour mark, a huge dose of Fermato to get it going, and it, it kicked off. It took about three weeks for this thing to get to a point where it stopped. Now, we know that the Lalvin EC1118 gets up to 18%. This thing stopped at roughly 1.070 gravity, which if this thing is truly 18% ABV, I don't think it is, that would mean that we started at like 1270 or something stupid. So I don't think it's that alcoholic, but we'll taste it, we'll find out. We racked it into a new container, took our gravity reading. We did not need to back sweeten it, obviously, and we stabilized it to just to make sure there was no further fermentation. Let it set for another couple weeks, and I bottled it. And here we are. Then I, you know, I walked myself all over to your house and hand delivered the bottle to you, as one should, you know. And uh, here we go. We have ourselves a candy heart mead with so much sugar and as what's the what's the tagline saying on here i love it it says nothing says i love you like five pounds of candy hearts and honey that's true i mean you can't you can't get it. you can't beat it if you were to surprise your wife with five pounds of candy hearts she might be mad at you and be like why did you assume that i wanted these but also what a gesture what a gesture of love so we've already poured them here's what we got it's surprisingly not a totally crazy color. I thought the culmination of all of these candy heart colors would turn into something weird. And this is what we got. Kind of deceiving. Looks like a traditional mead. So Yeah, I, I love the color. It's very pretty. Um, it has a lot of legs. It's very, it's sticking to the glass. I'm so. getting up to those like Ken Tram levels of sweetness. That 1070 is pretty, pretty stout. So yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's definitely something. Well, what do you say? In celebration well, of, of Valentine's Day, we should go for it. Get our sweetness. Yep, let's go. Here we go. Woo. I have not tasted it yet. 
That's sweet. I wouldn't say it's bad, <laughs> but it is like deadly sweet. It is so sweet. What's crazy is, I mean, we'll talk about this in a second. That sweetness could have been contrasted, but I didn't do anything to try and fix it. It is just sugar. Do you get a lot of like candy yeah. heart presents? Do you, do you feel like you pick up that um, flavor? Yeah, I, you know, it feels like a handful of them. Yeah. I get sweet and hot, I think, is, is the two mm. flavors that I'm really getting. Sweet and hot. I could be convinced um, that this is actually like that 12, 14% ABV based off of the alcohol presence in here. <laughs> yeah, it it does it does taste like there's some alcohol in it. And I get it on the nose. But yeah, sweet and hot are the two are the two flavors that I really get out of it. Yeah. I mean it's it's a sugar bomb. Probably exactly what I you know, when you think candy heart, it stays true to the sweetness level. What's weird is it's like when I first, I, I did taste it before I fermented it, and it was like chalky. I mean, that, that's the best word I could think of it. Whenever I like I racked it off of the sediment, I did it in a bucket, and you know you have your all the stuff at the bottom. There was a good layer at the bottom that was sludgy. I mean, it it was it was super weird, and I remember like racking off that and going like that must be all that somehow non-fermentable sugar. There must be some non-fermentable yeah. sugar present present in here well they kind of remind like in life they remind me of tums oh yeah so. oh you said that now my brain just i just equated that now i'm just <laughs> i'm just drinking tums don't yeah. do that do not make a tums mead that's that's not gonna happen don't one do that <laughs> man but yeah i wouldn't say i hate it it it, it definitely it, it's like if someone did their first mead and oh, yeah. You know, and made it way too sweet. There's an indiscernible candy taste to it. Um, but I mean, if you gave this to me and said and didn't tell me candy hearts, I wouldn't. Right. I don't know if I would pick that out. I would just know that it was some kind of candy. Mm -hmm. I don't really get. You know, calling this a mead is probably a, a bold statement with how much sugar comes from <laughs> the candy hearts in reality. It is it. Is honey there? Yes. Is it way oh, yeah. hidden? 100%. It is super hard to find. Yeah, you, you have to go like on a safari to find the, the honey in it. But it's it you'll find it. Yeah. So, I guess the question is there you know, it's it is right around Valentine's Day. There are about to be hundreds, thousands of pounds of candy hearts on discount. Should people go and buy all the candy hearts they can and make this mead, in your opinion. I'm not against it. Oh, really? I, I'm not I, against it, but just uh, your um, final result will vary, I think. Yeah. I think, too. Person to person. I'm sure, you know, if we're getting technical, somebody could go in and adjust the ratios of amount of candy hearts and say, well, you actually needed two pounds instead of five, you know. So I'm sure there's there's yeah. someone who could do that. I personally don't know that this is worth doing. It's it was a little bit of a I don't want to say a waste of honey, but I'm sure the honey that I used could have been used in a better manner. But it's still been fun. Yeah, I would agree with that. I'm never against trying something fun though. So yeah. Well, thank you for being far the far part of the tasting. Um, I want to shout out, you actually have your own YouTube channel where you do some tasting and things. And uh, yep. are, are you? Are, do you want to share anything about it? Yeah, it's Drinking in Lincoln. Uh, that's Drinking without a G. Um, I do a lot of brews. Um, I just go to my local store and f find what looks interesting to me and, and do them. But every once in a while, I'll get a home brew in there and and get them. I just recently did two episodes for, um, with some stuff that you gave me. Yeah. I did a meat episode and a beer episode and I had a lot of fun doing it. And um, hopefully soon I'm doing the most episodes. So. Hey, is he sending you something too? That's awesome. Man. Yep, he, he's supposed to be sending me a box. So uh, I might get to try the uh, metal meat and I think there's going to be Ecto Cooler in there. 
Dude, those are those are two iconic ones from his his whole world. That's awesome. Well, I'll put that information below in the description if you'd like to go check out Super Ty. He's also a part of my Discord and a part of the um, Doing the Most Discord, and so you might see him floating around there every once in a while. And so feel free to hop in, say hi. You know, maybe request that he tries something. There might be something you see that go you go, hey, it'd be cool to see him try this. But I'll put that below. Thanks for being a part of this. I, I hope that um, whatever candy you have on the day is better than this. But <laughs> yeah, know. like I said, not not bad. But I don't I, I don't think I would do it. Yeah, not personally. But I'm never against something fun. Yeah. So again, if you want to do this recipe card as earlier, I'll throw it up one more time. Maybe maybe you go through and adjust the ratios. I would love for someone to, to try and maybe dial back things and see if there's a, a better point for it. But worth a try. I hope that everybody watching has a nice Valentine's Day. Maybe if you if you don't have a loved one that you're already going and um, <laughs> you know, going home to, maybe you find somebody. Who knows? And if you do, the best thing you can give them on the day is a lot of candy hearts. Find them all with all the little whatever words you want to say to them, give them to them. But thanks for being a part of this. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Cheers, man. Cheers.